Okay, so I'm going to try round two of this. I got through the first example, which took some time, and my app closed. So, we're going to try round two of multiplying and dividing rational expressions. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to multiply and divide um, rational expressions. I apologize for the jumbledness. When I transferred the PowerPoint to my app, um, some things didn't stay where they were supposed to stay. Um, but they should appear correct on your notes. Alright, so now when multiplying rational expressions, first we're going to factor everything that we can because it's going to make it a whole lot easier for us. Okay, so we're going to apply the factoring that we already know to some um, other material. Alright, now I move on to the denominator, and I know that it will factor into 2x minus 5 and the quantity x plus 2. And then I go to my next set. I know that the numerator of this one has a greatest common factor of 2x squared, so I'm going to factor that out. So I get 2x squared times the quantity 1 plus 2x. And the denominator of that same expression has a greatest common factor of x. So I take out an x, and I'm left with x plus 3. And then I move to my last rational expression. The x in the numerator, you can't do anything with that, so I just write it down. And the denominator will factor into x plus 1 and x plus 2. So now that we have everything factored, um, that's when we can cancel our factors. Now canceling is really not a proper math term. We've used it all our, all our lives though, probably since we were young. And um, really because, say for instance I have x divided by x. Well x divided by x doesn't just disappear. x divided by x is actually 1. We just if it's in another, within another problem, you don't write that 1. But if x divided by x was my only problem, my answer would be 1. And I would write that down. So um, that's why I really don't like to use the term cancel, but um, that's what we're used to. Okay, so looking at our numerator and denominator, we're trying to find some matches. And I notice in my numerator, I have an x plus 1. And I also have one in my denominator that I can get rid of. In my numerator, I have an x plus 3 I can get rid of, because I have one in my denominator. And then I also have an x. And so the factored form of this whole huge thing that we started with is going to be 2x squared times the quantity of 1 plus 2x all over 2x minus 5 times the quantity x plus 2. Now in some instances you have to determine the domain and what it can and cannot be, but for our purposes, since this is all review, we're not going to do that at this time. Alright, this next one, um, dividing is very similar to multiplying. Um, Except, remember, when you're dividing a fraction, you flip the second and multiply. So our first step here is going to be rewriting this. I have the numerator, x plus 3, divided by x squared minus 4. And now I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. So x cubed minus 8, divided by the trinomial x squared minus x minus 12. Alright, so now, once we do that, we're going to do it just like we did the previous example. You're going to factor everything you can, and then get rid of the factors that are on the numerator and the denominator both. So, looking at our first uh, set in the brown here, the numerator x plus 3, you cannot do anything to that. So I'm just going to rewrite that um, underneath. So this x plus 3 
it's just gonna and I'm gonna move down here maybe have more room I'm not sure X plus 3 is gonna stay the same and then x squared minus 4 in the denominator of that is a difference of perfect squares. So I know that that is x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 2. And then I move to my second set in the red. Now the top is a difference of cubes. Okay, and we had a formula for that that we learned some time ago. A difference of cubes will factor into x minus 2, because the cube of 8 is 2, and then times the trinomial x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4. And so if you need to review that um, formula for the difference of cubes, um, please go back and do that. And then the trinomial in the denominator of the red uh, expression will factor into x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 3. Now everything's uh, factored as far as I can do it. This trinomial will not factor any further. Um, but if you see a squared term, you know that you should look at that closely and make sure. And so now I go and find the factors that are on the numerator and the denominator that I can um, get rid of. Okay, so I notice I have an x plus 3 and an x plus 3. And then I also have an x minus 2 that I can get rid of. And that is all I can get rid of. So left in the numerator I have x squared plus 2x plus 4. And in the denominator I have x plus 2 and x minus 4. And that's the simple form of that. And here's your um, cartoon for the night. You never know when you might need uh, this math stuff. And so I'll see you tomorrow, and uh, I'm going to go get some sleep because I'm really tired. I hope you do too.